Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, we've got royalty on the set, and I'm not talking about Nova. <laughs> I'm talking about Ella Thomas. <laughs> Oh, it's good to have you on, girl. It's good to be here. You've babe. been living your life recently. Been living my best. Life. I have not, and I've just been watching you and <laughs> acting like I'm you. I'm living for you. Just living, living. Absolutely. On that Tell me, Coachella. Tell me all. Coachella. So it was a vibe. Yeah, it was. Went out to LA. I've been on LA a lot recently. Yeah, you're well. an LA girl. Yeah, I'm becoming an LA babe. Ow. But yeah, it was fun. Got to do the cool fits. Got to see the artist. Oh, it was yeah. a vibe. Did you have a stylist for Coachella? Mm, I mean, I styled two of the outfits myself and come then on. one girl. Hmm? I said, come on. Oh, yeah, come on, that. girl. <laughs> Fashion girly. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> and then uh, one girl helped me style one of the other outfits. Coachella. Tell me about Coachella, though, because I don't know if I'd ever want to go. Because apparently, like, I'm used to, like, a boom town, mm. right? Mm, a a scatty festival. Yeah, I'm used to drinking out my welly boot. Mm. You can't really do that, Coachella. It's a different vibe. That's not the vibe. It's not like UK festival. Can you drink... In you the, can. You're meant to like where you get your drink. You're meant to keep your cup and drink it there. But obviously, bit. like you can just kind of. Oh, you can just go. Well, I just went. Absolutely. Actually, you know what I mean? I'm not going to stand at the port. I'm trying to vibe with my yeah, drink. Yeah, on absolutely. Hand. <laughs> Who was your favorite act that you saw? Do you know what was Ice Spice? I'm not even like a huge Ice, Ice Spice fan. Spice. But yeah. She was so good live. She had stage presence. She had well. stage presence. Yeah. Every time she started shaking her bum, the whole crowd went mental. Really? It's the vibe. It was just you have to People be there. People do that to me too, and I go, please stop. <laughs> like, yeah, they do. Yeah. Stop <laughs> they it. Go crazy. <laughs> Did you see any celebs there? Because you know Taylor Swift was in the crowd for Ice Spice. I know. I didn't actually. Some of the like some of the girls that I knew that I bumped into were like, oh my gosh, I was right next to Hailey Bieber. But I don't really see a lot like of American celebs. Are you like a fan girl? Like if you're next to like Taylor Swift, are you gonna be like, oh my god, that's Taylor Swift? I'll be like, oh, there's Taylor Swift. And then just get on with your night. Yeah, but if it was someone that I was like, like if I saw like Rihanna or Beyonce or something, I'd be yeah. I'd, do you know what I mean? I'd be yeah. like, oh my god. If I saw Beyonce I'd pass out, literally, I would physically Queen pass me. out. I'd want to just, just give her a, a tap, <laughs> just touch. So her. then I could say, I "Sorry to use you for that." <laughs> uh, that I could say, "I've touched Beyonce," literally, and then I could absolutely die. Yeah. Did you go to any after parties? Do you know what I didn't? I'm not gonna lie. I was quite like chill at Coachella because I'd been LA like the same month or the month before. Mm. I'd already been. I was like, I was a bit tired. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't go to loads of after parties, but the actual festival was fun. I'm just not a huge festival girl. Neither am I. Like never have been. Yeah. So it was a bit different for me, but I had fun. I love that. Yeah. I need to, uh, one day I need to go. I think. Yeah, you need to I go need at to least once. do it just once. But it's the car journey. Apparently it takes like 50 minutes to get into Coachella. Yeah, it's far because you need to like go Palm Springs and then it's a drive, but. Absolutely not. I'll paraglide in. <laughs> I think that's my only option there. I'll Hell paraglide. Yeah. Do you meet any nice men over there? Mm, not really really not a Coachella <laughs> you know what I was saying before we started the most iconic thing that I've ever seen is that Chris Brown video oh that moment yeah yeah the double take I said Ella <laughs> excuse me I couldn't believe that actually became a thing though so, yeah, because it was happened? like such a small encounter so tell me all right you get there you're there mm -hmm. right and Chris Brown walks past you he double takes. Do you take any notice of that or do you just think Chris Brown's just double take me? I'm quite like an unbothered person. Really? Yeah. So I was actually, because we went highlight room after the Kylie Cosmetics event. Mm -hmm. So I was with um, the girls that I came with and we all had our own table. So we came in and I was just waiting on them walking past. So I was just right. standing and then he must have walked past with whoever he was with. And like, you know, when someone walks past you and then they're like, so then done the little. You were like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like. <laughs> Who, me you okay <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah and then he just kind of he said hi he was like hi and i was like hi. did he say hi yeah you couldn't really see it in the video it was literally just like oh hi my and i just God. went like you okay and then <laughs> <laughs> right going, you're, you're right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah he just walked on i'd have been milking the british accent i'd be like forsooth <laughs> <laughs> suddenly i've got a london accent yes darling hi do you know hi. what i mean yeah hi, Chris. are you how are you doing you? darling yeah i'd be really going for it a hundred percent yeah the americans love the accent they, they love do, a they, british accent i think they think that we're like i don't know like a different breed yeah they think we're all posh like sipping tea god like, forbid 
but they just we all know the queen Mm -hmm. i remember once they were like people genuinely think we know the royal family oh my gosh (laughs) and obviously i'm really close to them (laughs) obviously yeah besties i'm at the i'm at the royal family house every day (laughs) every day so tell me dating life what's it like are you dating are you not dating i mean i'm nearly single tell them newly single yeah yep. are you been enjoying being <laughs> newly single i mean do you know what i am enjoying it to be honest like, i've just been focusing on myself and you've done it at a really good time because summer's here summer is approaching you know, I'm to Ibiza. exactly i'm going to be far are you yeah, i'm going to be for this Hot month no summer I love that. Yeah, do you know I put that as my caption on a TikTok? <laughs> hot, I put, hot girl summer. I put hot girl summer. <laughs> and I started getting trolled. But do you know what? Like hot girl summer what to me is trolled? not like... <laughs> literally, what? I meant hot girl summer. Like I'm going to have fun with my girls. Yeah. I don't mean like... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I started getting trolled for it. Oh, well, I would have meant the other way. <laughs> I'd have been like, yeah, I've just even. split from my man. <laughs> so what now? Like outside. What, uh, what happened with you and Ty? Well when did we break up we broke up a couple months ago now I okay mean, like, so it's not too fresh but obviously things were really good when we came out of love island mm. we were so loved up things just changed and i'm just as, like the type of person like i know how i want to be treated i feel like you're a little bit more mature do you know what i mean i feel like you're maybe on like different paths yeah. but it must be mental when you because in the villa you're in like a bubble right mm. so you don't it's all right girl i've got you <laughs> um you've got you don't have any outside issues you don't have to worry about anything like that so i guess when you come out it's like a whole different relationship yeah because you've got so many other factors in it literally because i feel like even when we were on the show you didn't actually see how close we were we were literally so like obsessed with each other so Mm. loved up everything was so good but when you come out there's so many like different things that just come into being in a relationship and obviously i was his first girlfriend and like being someone's first girlfriend is like it's not a joke. God forbid. You <laughs> have to not teach easy. them all the lessons. <laughs> it's not easy. Of how to act. Literally, it's just, it's hard. Mm. So I was just, yeah, it is what it is. I love that though, but I love that you're now single. Would you like me to set you up with anyone? Do you, yeah. like, what's your type? <laughs> Tell me your type. What is my type? Um, if it was I on like, paper right now, what would your type be? Like looks or personality? Bit of both. Do you know what? I like someone that's obsessed. Like, I like someone that's really obsessed not scared to show that they're obsessed with me. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They're like, that's my girl. Like, hype me up. Yeah. And someone, do you know, I just like a man. Like, mm. a big man. A big tall man. Oh, big man. <laughs> a big I man. I love a big man. Sign me up. Sign me up, <laughs> girl. But I feel like I'm not rushing into my next relationship. Do you know what I mean? I've just came out of one and it was a serious one. And mm. like, obviously we spent 24-7 together. So it was a lot. One thing as well about relationships when you break up is the glow up i always say everyone needs a breakup because it makes you just transform really i don't know what it is but it's like a whole thing like a glow yeah 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 when i broke up with my ex i remember (laughs) i was like nah i sat down with myself in the mirror and i said get your shit together grace Mm, yeah i feel like you need to hit rock bottom Mm. like breakups are hard they're not easy at the beginning it's like you go down and then you got a bounce back yeah cry for a couple of months Mm. and then get on your hot girl shit yeah do you know what i mean got to and i'll absolutely do that again you gotta like show them as well like look what you messed out (laughs) on yeah it's like the revenge post Mm -hmm. have you done a revenge post i mean i'm active on the the pecs anyway yeah (laughs) yeah got it but I feel like I did, you know, on my little birthday post. Oh, yeah. yeah we love the birthday shit. post. We love that. <laughs> Sensational. Oh, thanks, babe. I need to know about Kylie Jenner. Okay. Because I woke up one morning. It was an average day. <laughs> I went on the Instagram app. Ella's with Kylie Jenner. Yeah. And I think, what the fuck? What the fuck is it? <laughs> I felt like I'd taken acid. <laughs> what world? How did this happen? In? Tell me all. So I work with Kylie Cosmetics a lot and yeah. um, they invited me to go to LA because Kylie was launching her new perfume Cosmic. Yeah. So they took, it was just me and one other girl from the UK, oh. Millie. Yeah. And I knew oh. Millie before as well. So it was fun. We had, like it was a little vibe. And yeah, we went to the launch party. But wow. do you know Kylie like personally invited us? Like she personally chose every single person. Like, what? like the team were like, 
showed all the girls that they work with and were like, choose who you want to come. So now big my head would be. <laughs> I'm big my Literally, be. yep Kylie first right, <laughs> thank you Kylie <laughs> thanks Kylie <laughs> <laughs> that's insane yeah but she was so lovely like she was honestly no no babe. so Chris is there icon skinny legend yeah Mom Chris was doing her thing then, doing her thing. then Kylie came on in uh, with her friends and she was so lovely like she walked in like she said hi to everyone what a girl she was so nice like um, we spoke to her I mean all the girls wanted to speak mm. to her but we spoke to her and she was like so much fun what she was like speak about she was like well all her friends were shouting at me shut it down shut it down <gasps> I was like, shut it down. I I was like no that. way you've watched love island <laughs> isn't that mental that kylie jenner's watched your season of love i island? don't know she she didn't like say shut it down like her friends kept saying it they were like oh my gosh ella shut it down that. so i don't know if she watched it herself but she was just i was just like oh the perfect amazing like she was like thanks for coming guys and she was like let's do shots let's do shots like she was so lovely even when we took pictures because it's like you're on my good side, by the way, but <laughs> <laughs> this is my the good left side. is Had everyone's good side. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's hell. Every, and she hell was hell like, yeah. "Is that your good side too?" I was like, "Yeah, it's my good I'd side." I'm not, babe. I'd have swap any. <laughs> what side she want? She me let on? me have my side. All fours, Did she? She's so lovely. She let me have my side. She, I was like, "Why do you want to swap?" She was like, "No, no, you have it." But like, we both pose from the same side. But how? What an absolute babe! Oh my god, because Kylie Jenner's good side, side. I wouldn't give up my good side. <laughs> bit, I've got nothing else going. I'd be like, I need the side. Need give me to the be fucking on the left. side. That's insane. <laughs> she was so lovely. If you want to be a boss like Ella and of course me, then why not start up your side hustle today, or even enhance your business today with Shopify? If you don't know, Shopify is an e-commerce platform revolutionizing businesses worldwide. What I love about Shopify is that it doesn't matter how big that you want to grow. Shopify will be there to empower you every step of the way with the confidence and control to take your business to the next level. Shopify is full of industry leading tools ready to ignite your growth. Shopify gives you complete control over your business and brand without having to learn any new skills or coding. Shopify gets you selling across social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok. So you can reach customers just like me. I'm someone that loves scrolling on TikTok shop. I'm constantly buying stuff off there that to be honest with you, I probably don't even need, but I love it. I want to try it. It catches my eye. I see other people using it. So I think, do you know what? I've got to use it. I'm a sucker for TikTok shop. Sign up for a £1 per month trial period at shopify.co.uk slash grace. All in lowercase. Go to shopify.co.uk slash grace to take your business to the next level. Thank you Shopify for sponsoring today's episode. Oh, yeah. That's insane. Did she smell nice? Can't remember the whole event smelled like the perfume. I sounded like, like a creep then. She did I? smell nice. Yeah. Like we were all like we were wearing the perfume, so it smelled really nice. I can't <laughs> believe that. Was it didn't feel weird though seeing her in person? She's really beautiful in person. I bet like, she is. She's sunny. I, I think she looks better in person. Really? Yeah, gorge. Wow. Figure. She looked ten out of ten. Who else was on the trip with you? Millie. Millie Lear. Oh right, yeah. She's a beauty and were American influencers, any of them? Yeah, there was Americans. There was like there was like like two two people from each country so like we were the mm. two from uk then there was like a couple good from thing italy hmm? it's a good thing you got on oh, yeah. do you imagine <laughs> I mean, how awkward <laughs> imagine you'd be like Hi. whole trip with the <laughs> <laughs> no because we'd been on a trip before together so it was it was so much fun that's amazing we'll all yoga. get on yeah oh, I love the it. itinerary was so fun with aloe yoga what did you do got the yoga yeah, I love a bit of yoga, babe. I've never done yoga in my life. I don't have the flexibility for it. I don't. <laughs> no, but the more you do it, the more flex flexible you get. It's like Pilates. Yeah. I thought Pilates was just putting your leg around your head, but it's like <laughs> insane shit. I wouldn't go that. I can't do that. I wouldn't go that far. Uh, I know like Olivia Neal does it and I'm just like, you look so good doing it. I just think if I did that, I'd look like I was having some sort of issue. No, can you not do a little downward dog? Never. It feels a bit wrong. It feels really? morally wrong to do a downward dog. As a lesbian, it feels morally wrong. <laughs> I can't be doing shit it's like not that. Right. Yeah, it's not right. It's not right. I don't want about you and your new girlfriend. Girl, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? We're in two different paths right now. Yeah, we've I just... was meant to be having a hot girl summer. And now you're all booed up yeah. already. I've, yeah, I was meant to be doing a you. How did that happen? I don't like, know. I don't know. Did you always know that you liked girls? Or was yeah. It... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying to you before, first lesbian experience is like fucking six, seven or eight. I know, she said that's six years old. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it was crazy times for me. I was like, it all makes sense. Yeah, it all makes sense. Not even since young. Sense. And then also I was like, I've always wasted all these years with men. And now I'm like, what was the point? Like, why? Yeah, I need you to become a lesbian. Oh, I don't know about that. No, you have to. <laughs> You have I don't know, to. babe. I don't think it's just like a choice, like where you can me, choose. Me, must. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you choose? Yeah, I chose. You just I made chose. a decision one said, day. Please, I think you, Freedom Bar, down below oh. on the polls. Have you been to oh, Freedom before? No, never at the pool. <gasps> have you not been to Freedom? <laughs> Ella, I am going to change your life. Are I'm you going to sure? take you out to Freedom. I don't know if it's my vibe. It's like a gay club. There's polls at the bottom. There's drag queens. There's gays. Like we're all swinging about the polls. The oh, drinks wow. are great. I mean, yeah. it does sound like a vibe. Lady Gaga's on. Oh, on the music. I thought yeah. you meant she's there. She might be. I've heard she loves a bit of the old freedom. Yeah. <laughs> She'll make it up for you. I think this could be a whole new chat. This summer, mm. I think you should have one lesbian experience. Oh, no, I don't know, babe. Really? I like men. Like... Oh, you're fully set on men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, if you do change your mind, let me know. Yep. I'll give you some tips, some tricks. Well, actually, don't what, ask you? me for tips. I just lay there. But... <laughs> I could do you look at this this is crazy she's so funny like she will like grab your hand if you stop and like be like touch me do you know what I was saying like everyone's like oh like don't get a Pomeranian because they're so yappy blah blah she Nova's a girl yeah. she, she like hasn't yapped once she's got a little tongue out mm -hmm. she's a peaceful gal she's a pe she's in her like aloe vibe Literally, she's doing aloe era. right now she's doing yoga <laughs> and I really love that. She her. loves a downward dog. I've got. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> what a girl. I've got some dilemmas for us to answer. Okay, let's okay. Go. Are you ready? No, mm -hmm. are you ready? Brilliant news. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> so, someone said, I am quickly falling for my therapist. I Ooh. see her twice a week and she's the same age as me. I haven't met a better person than her. She's funny, caring, and beautiful. We have so much banter and flirting all the time. Should I make a move or shut down my feelings? Oh, wow. Do you know what? I'm going to say shut down your feelings. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. Not the therapist. I think therapists are a bit crazy because they know all the crazy yeah, shit about you too. Yeah, that's crossing. I feel like as a therapist as well, if they were to engage in that, that's really that's crossing the line. giving illegal. Mm -hmm. It's giving illegal. It's giving, yeah. take them to court. But <laughs> one thing I will say, if you date a therapist, surely they'd know how to handle arguments can you not imagine that they'd also know how to like master manipulate you because they know like your deepest they'd be like do you remember in 2016 when you did this before you <laughs> gaslighter i'd be like whoa, <laughs> whoa. literally they'll be bringing up your childhood trauma yeah like, i don't think i'd want to date a therapist no oh my god yeah they'd be psychoanalyzing you like for your relationship as well like that would be so annoying yeah do you know what here's a weird thing right the other day i was with eyelashes and I just given up vaping for the day. Yeah, okay. so I was, for the day, good for you. For the day, yeah, I was, it was meant to be for a week, but <laughs> I just bought another one. Um, and so I'd done that and I wanted to go put a pizza on, mm -hmm. right? And she wanted me to go to put the pizza on and I just snapped and I said, if you fucking want to eat some pizza, mm -hmm. let me fucking go and put that pizza on. Mm -hmm. I really snapped. I know I did do that. I did. Did it warrant that? No, Did you need to it was because I was very angry over the anti-vape. And I thought if I was dating a therapist here, they would have broken that down yeah. and been like, you need to go to the Priory. They would have pieced you apart. Yeah, 100%. You about yourself. You can't. No. What's the worst career you think you could date? Oh, do you know what? I've got it. Go on. The worst career to date would be a model. My ex was a model and I just used to look at him and be like, why are you prettier than me? <laughs> nah, I've got it. I've Literally, topped this. Why? I've topped this. I've topped this. <laughs> An actor... Because if you fucking think I'm letting you film a sex oh scene my gosh. with another woman or like even yeah. pretending to be in love with them. It's not on. You can't pretend to be in love with someone and not love them. Literally. You can't be like doing it all up lovey-dovey on movies and not catching feelings. Yeah. It's like, you know, Sydney Sweeney. And what was that newest film she was? Anyone But You? I think, was that the name of it? Anyone But You? Yeah. Mm. She had to like be in love with this guy but he's got a wife and there was this whole thing on the internet if i saw mm. one comment being I'd like they're it. so in love yeah i'd go to jail i'm too jealous for that 100 <laughs> percent. maybe we should go to a therapist and until then <laughs> i will continue I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so next one a year ago i went through my slag era love oh. that for you we've all been there and all my friends got into a relationship around the same time when i went to meet their partners i realized that 
six people I'd met, I'd shagged four of them. Ooh. I can't tell my friends. Ooh. I shagged them because hearing the news about their boyfriends be having gay sex uh, might send them... Oh, okay, this is a man. Oh, it's a man. Would send them over the edge. What should I do? So all his female friends... Are in relationships and he's fucked four, four of, of them. them. He needs to tell them. I don't know if I'd want to hear that. Oh my gosh, you need to you need to know because you need to leave him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not on. I feel not like... them being the beard. I mean, <laughs> it's so true. So true. Your beard and oh you don't God, even know so it. True. Oh my gosh. No, I feel like some things are like best left unsaid, but I kind of would want to know, even though it would hurt me, I would want to know. I need to know every I don't care if it's gonna hurt me. I need to know. Are you the type of girl that will search and see what their ex looks like? Of course. 100%. <laughs> and it always fucking not. hurts. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's like this like Essexy blonde babe, like the most beautiful girl ever. And I'm like, <laughs> if I saw that, I'd be like, do you even like me? Because like, that's so far <laughs> off me. Yeah. Like that's so far from my I, I Yeah, I don't know though, but I always want to know what the ex looks like. I yeah. need to know for my mental health. I agree. Yeah, I agree. 100%. I need to know everything. Like I want to know your whole history. Like, I want to know everything that happened before that we even met. Yeah. I want to know that. I want to know her birth chart. <laughs> What's her rising? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who have you slept with, even one night stand wise? No, I want to know. In case I fucking bump into Literally. them and I have to chin them on a night out. <laughs> no, I absolutely will. Give me one Prosecco, I'll do it. And you agree, don't you, Nova? Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> okay. Why do I only go for unavailable men who don't want relationships? Please help. Oh, I think I think it's like some deep rooted issue. Yeah. And like you should talk to someone. I think like I know you were saying we should maybe go to therapy. I think everyone should go to therapy. I agree. Like why not? Like let's understand ourselves. No, you're right. Like why the unavailable ones? What harm could it do? But also I think people are guilty of leading you on thinking mm. they want a relationship and then they don't. Yeah. Is it unavailable like you just got commitment issues or unavailable like he's got a girl that's a good oh what because if, okay if, if it's that then like i don't even want to speak to you that's crazy yeah yeah that's crazy <laughs> because you're not my type the of girl. worst type the, the worst, worst type and you know you can always spot those girls from a mile away yeah you can if they say hello to your boyfriend and not you yeah that's when yeah, I'm like, i see what you're on yeah i know your type but girls recently i feel like some girls even want guys more. Like they want to chat to them. They want to move to them it's when like they have challenge. a girlfriend. Yeah. A challenge. It's, I find it mad. Especially when in the public eye, because people like to be able to be the person that says, yeah, I got with them. Yeah. I, I did I got that. with her man. Yeah. No. I'll fight. Yeah. Not having that. I'll lose, but I'll fight. <laughs> um, okay. My mum thinks every new boyfriend is the one and it's pissing me off. I feel like that's a nice thing, no? Mm. Mm. No, not everyone to be the one. Because you want your mum to be like, no, he's a bad one. Like, you know, you want her to say. Yeah. My mum, my mum and dad actually is someone that they usually do not like my partners. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, they might have been right because where are they? Uh, yeah, it's so true. <laughs> what, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened actually, to them? They were just, they could see clearly and I couldn't. <laughs> what, do you, what are yours like? Can they tell? Mm, yeah. My mum's can. Can. Mom's good with friends, boyfriend. Mm. But yeah. She's just, she gets it. She gets mm. it. She knows when it's just time that it's to not like them anymore. Yeah. You so get the I mean, vibe as well. I feel like you can all, and I like friends and family always get the vibe before you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they it's know. like, why don't you like them? <laughs> then a month later, I'm like, that's why you don't that's like why them. Yeah, made yeah. sense. You were right. Yeah, you were absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, they're my I feel like we did some good advice there. Yeah. I feel like it may I have been too helped. good. Um, okay. <laughs> Another event or trip that you went to you went skiing yes babe first i've got time. i've got beef against skiing oh why don't like it i can't oh, do you ski. Not? no no, no it's not have you me. been on a lot of ski trips i went once Never and i had again. a skiing in instructor called fanny oh and <laughs> she just said don't she was like german she was like don't bother and don't i said try. i said fanny <laughs> i agree i completely agree with you funny there's absolutely yeah yeah it was horror i don't understand how people enjoy it really? did you enjoy it i loved it what i had the best time okay but what part did you enjoy i mean the whole thing i loved my little ski outfit the ski outfit <laughs> ski glasses i'm like <laughs> Look, thank you yeah yeah now i hear that and the actual ski i mean i was on the beginner slope 
I'm sure you were too. I was on the before big like, I wasn't even on the <laughs> slope. Didn't make it yeah, to the slope. yeah, yeah. I didn't even make it to the slope. But I just was like, it was fun. It was adrenaline. Basically, the instructor told like was was telling us what to do, like right. teaching the, all the beginners. And at one point, I thought he said like, just go. <laughs> Right, and I yeah. was stood at the front of the group, so I was like, "Really, just go!" Like, you've not, <laughs> yeah. you've not told us that much. <laughs> All he had said is, "If you want to stop, bend your knees." So I was like, "All right, <laughs> yeah, I'll do." That. He hadn't went in depth though, but I was like, "Go!" So I just was like, "Okay." So I just went, <laughs> and I just started going, and the way I, the speed was just going that so fast, me. yeah. And I was like bending, <laughs> and it was. So I was literally screaming it wasn't slowing you look down. Like a newborn lamb. Yeah. <laughs> I was, he didn't tell us yet that you need to put weight in it when you bend. So I was just like bending my knees. <laughs> you like a like, little why girl. <laughs> literally, why am I shitting off? And there was like a little family of like two little boys, and I was about to go into them. So I literally threw myself to the ground, <laughs> threw myself the down. Drama. Didn't have my gloves on, burnt all my hands on the ice. I got back up and went again. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> and you le I learned from it. Really? I didn't fall again after that one. Did you go on any bigger slopes? No, babe, I stayed on the beginner. But I was going at like two miles an hour and I was like, woo, I'm doing You're like, it. fucking love it. I love it. <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not for me. And do you know what else pisses me off? Ski mm. lifts. Oh, it's long. I went, I went, I don't know what, I've had like an issue on there. Mm -hmm. I started going lightheaded. Oh, really? I started crying. Why? You scared of heights? Am I scared of heights? Oh, terrified. I'm scared of anything. Oh. But, <laughs> um, so we had to go up, because you know it's like at Prey Ski, mm, right? You yeah. can all drink at the top of the mountain. Yeah. So to get up there, we had to go up the ski lift. And I'm like, yeah, like, fuck it, it's fine. It's got glass on it, we'll be fine. I didn't realise how high it went. Oh, no. Right? Oh no. <laughs> I'm going up and I'm thinking, I can't get back down. Oh my God. People are skiing back down. I think, fuck that. That's a black, <laughs> like a, a black slope. Do you know what I mean? What is, oh. it? is that a, bla a black What's slope? A black slope. Yeah. It's that the sounds scary. Hardest one. Oh gosh. Right? I'll get you on that. It's talking that mm. 90 degree. <laughs> and I just thought, no. So I had to go back down the ski lift. It was awful. But uh, did you do the Apre ski vibe? Yeah, I went back to chill. Oh, I loved you it. Did. <laughs> Little dancing on the tables and champagne. <laughs> the bougie life. I loved it. Day drinking in the snow and mm. the sun. It's yeah, yeah. Vibe. And you know the UVs are high when you ski as well. Yeah. The fucking tan. Yeah. Get the tan love in. That. I mean, I don't really need it, but I still yeah, love a tan. You know, the difference between <laughs> us is I, I need it. Do you tan change. well? No. This isn't my my natural colour is my hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see, it. I see it. And the foundation patches on there. Um <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a tanner at all. I can't tan. I've got yeah, ginger skin, I burn it. But tan. high UV is good for you then. Do you know what I'm saying? But do you not burn? I burn and then go back to white. Oh, so so I must fake no tan for you. I have to fake tan. It's actually Ali. really it's a big issue. No one talks about this, but it's a massive issue. Because pale girls like we're not in fashion. It's horror. Like pale and no one has ever. I don't know. I feel like we need to bring pale girls back into fashion because it's actually a hard life out there. Bring it in fashion. I fucking, I'm not going to do it. But you could be the can. one. Embrace the pale. I don't have the facilities. <laughs> I need someone like Kendall Jenner to do it. Does she fake tan? Oh, no, I feel like she's kind of pale. Is she pale? She's pale. Or is she pregnant olive mm, Um, No, I feel like, wait. No, she's a bit olive I think. Who, who's bringing the pale back? No one. It's me, no one. apparently. <laughs> Fucking hell. Catch me in Benidorm next week, just pale as fuck, <laughs> with just red all over me from where I've burned. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Bring it back, babe. I'm going to bring it back. Fuck it. Pale you girls for the win. Yeah. yeah, embrace it. I can't do a sunbed. It's not right. So I'm just going to have to... Yeah, sunbeds are bad for you. So I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I've got ginger skin. I'll actually die. Oh, so no. there's no point. There's no Do you know point. what I mean, Han? I'll actually die. Uh, sorry, I've really just taken your dog. And <laughs> I know. Love it. Like, give me my baby back. My queen. <laughs> so how long has it been since you were on Love Island now? It's been, it's been like nine months. I Where think. the fuck has that time gone? It Where feels long, gone? but it also doesn't feel that long. It feels like I'd done that a lifetime ago. I'm really? Like, yeah, it's mad though. It's only been nine, well... Nine months is a while though. Yeah. It's so weird. It's went quick, but it feels like ages ago. Did you ever watch it back? Never. I watched really? everything on TikTok. Oh, uh, like, like clips. The day I got my phone back, I was in the villa. I was like, I was so entertaining. Like all the edits, watching. Oh God, yeah. Like you've got no idea in there as well what they show. Mm. So I just could see from TikTok, like all the main clips of me. Do you know what I mean? Did you get it back in the villa? No, like after the final, we, we went to the, like the villa Fine. before we fly home. The final? Mm. people that haven't ever seen it live like i went to go watch it once it's intense 
And it's also yeah. long. Yeah, it's long. It's long. So I, t- I can't even imagine you be- still being sat up there like... <sighs> but it was like exciting for me because like we'd not seen anyone else in that time. We'd just seen each other. Is it a bit overwhelming though when you see all those? Because there's a lot of people that come into the villa that day. Yeah, no, it was... It was exciting because like people were like all the crowd was there and they were all shouting all their names and like we don't you know when you're in there you don't realize like you don't deep it like everyone's at home watching this i feel like yeah. that was like a moment like oh everyone's been watching like yeah everyone was shouting our, like they knew who we were they were shouting our names like and there was just so many people it was nice to see some different faces i'll be honest was your after stu- uh, after sun different or was it still in the studio in london the after i don't know after sun I don't know babe I don't get to go. Did you not? I was in the villa. Yeah, but afterward, oh no, I suppose they wouldn't have an after. Oh, oh yeah. we had the reunion. The reunion. Was, did you go to the reunion? No, but chat to me about the reunion. <laughs> chat to me about that. I feel like the reunion wasn't like messy or anything. I, I thought reunions were like going to be a bit messy. I needed it to be messy, but I feel <laughs> like there was like passive aggressiveness. I don't know why. Like I feel, you know, when it's like you can't say mm-hmm. what you want to say. Yeah. But the vibes are there. Yeah, yeah. No, it was fun. I had fun at the reunion. I didn't have like any any issues. We didn't have any beef. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have any beef. I was chilling. What was your favorite moment from being in the villa? Um, well, it's weird now though. Because all my favorite. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, of course. It's, like, different now. I mean, my favorite moment was when Ty told me he loved me. Okay, what about your favorite challenge? Fave challenge. Oh, it had to be the talent show really yeah that was so fun oh my anxiety would have been sky high really yeah did you see yeah. my dance come on girl <laughs> loved it i'm not a dancer i don't know what i would have done i'd play i don't know i don't know what i would have done i was like either i can do a dance or i can play the clarinet but i've not played the club not played the clarinet since i was like 10 so i don't even know if you I- do the clarinet <laughs> do, do, do. I, I, there's I, no I, way there's I no way i probably still play it but i forget how to read music so i was like I can read explain. music. Yeah, when I was really young. <sighs> Babe, I used to be on that clarinet. That is something I could never do. I used to play piano and I'd just be like, tell me if it's C, D or E. Like, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't imagine I, I can't. Think, yeah, yeah, I know. I was such, I was such a virgin. Like, <laughs> hunchback <laughs> over the piano. It was Not a virgin time. Yeah, it was a virgin <laughs> times for me. Um, but that's crazy. You know what I don't like? The sexy dance challenge. I love that as well. What? Had a blast. Yeah, but you, you, I feel like you had the confidence, <laughs> right? Do you know what? Adren- like, even if you're not confident, adrenaline, all of us, like, when you're, they're telling you you're going to go out there, adrenaline just takes over. Imagine we're sober. We're not even, no. we're not even had a drink. No, no, I promise you. You've got to hype yourself up. They, they don't even give you one Prosecco. They give you, because you get one drink a night. So they would give, they gave us, like, literally right before we went out, they gave us our one drink. So we all downed it, but it didn't have time to hit us. Do you know what I mean? My worst nightmare. You just got, we always no, hate no, each other. No, no, that's my worst nightmare. <laughs> And especially being like first. Oh, I don't know. Is first worst or last? It's important. Like you've got to set the tone, like pressure. You can't be first and shit. Oh my God, it's so, but then you can't be last and shit because they've seen everything. True. you got to be in the middle. You've got to one up everyone. got to be in the middle. I don't know what move I'd what do. What would you do on it? Would you, do you know what I'd do? What would you do? I'll tell you what I'd do. <laughs> it was a little I'd, demo. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> I'd crawl. Yeah. Over. A little crawl. To the front give a little hair flip mm. and then i just bust open my tits oh <laughs> don't think they could air that Are they have, on family they tv must. oh gav nipple covers on i'll have <laughs> tassels give that then i swing shake. the tassels in the face <laughs> and then but i've got no ass so i couldn't i this is what it is everyone shakes bum right but i can't shake bum you can you can shake tassels. no you would just hear creaking <laughs> of my bones so i think maybe i just have to go in with like a snog and maybe a slap yeah and yeah, then little... and then i just have to turn back round. i think like the flash would have got everyone's heart beats up straight away because they'd want. be like oh my god it's a 12 year old boy <laughs> yeah yeah 100 percent. i feel like they'd be like what the fuck no no but rate yourself more you could you could kill i it. think men have it worse though because men being sexy is like yeah some of them when they would just like who stood up and they like hip thrusted in someone's face? And I was who like, was, oh my God, who was it that was absolutely awful? <laughs> who was it? Oh my God, who was it? Mal! Oh. I love Mal. She was going, 
I love Is that what it. you would have done? That I would have been like, <laughs> like I think that's that would have been my absolute vibe. But I would have been Mal. Yeah, did she crawl? She crawled. She crawled. That's where I got it from. I was like, I had to have been her. I fucking love her. I think she's absolutely hilarious. She's so funny. She's an icon. She's one of like, there's no one like her. Like I've never met anyone like. Mal. No, but she's just so like, so normal. She's so like energy and happy all the time. And like, she I runs. aspire to be like that. Are you a runner? I mean, I used to be recently. I've how I've much money. To do a marathon. 10k. <laughs> really? Light 10k. Do it for 1k, babe. It's... <laughs> Count like, for 1k. Like, I'm trying to get skinny for IB5 anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, but running's crazy. <laughs> how long is a marathon? It's like 26 I don't, miles. I don't even know how long it is. Mm. Do you know how long that is? Emma? 5k. <laughs> like a half marathon. I would do it. For, I'd do it for a good cause. I can't lie. I don't hate running that much wow how much money for you to do it about 500k no way i swear on my life you mad 26 miles really i don't move <laughs> i promise you i don't move she'll walk i had to um do like i ran up a sand dune the other day and i'm mm. not it wasn't really even a dune it was like a hill <laughs> and i was like i'm gonna die yeah like i'm physically oh, no. i don't prevent i don't like the feeling of running i think everything hurts my skin itches mm. when i run because Ooh. the blood doesn't pump usually <laughs> bad blood flow yeah you yeah that checked, I, do you think <laughs> go to the doctor <laughs> therapist doctor i've got it all <laughs> fucking going on after this podcast i'm but i'm fully booked i'm booked up but yeah i just think i think no offense hannah if you're doing a marathon you are going through a midlife crisis. You are oh, doing a half marathon, but it's still a, a violent midlife crisis. Are you running a half? This, this is a manager thing. thing. <laughs> this is a manager. As soon as you hit 30, yeah. you have a midlife crisis. You run a half marathon. Yeah. And I don't know what else. One of my sisters is doing one as well. She's very, in her 30s. It must be. This is thing. it. This is it. Be, it's like men. Be. They go through a divorce. All of a sudden, they start wearing lycra. <laughs> lycra? It oh starts no. cycling. Oh no, not the spandex. Okay, would you rather have a man that wears lycra or a man that wears dungarees? What's the lycra like? Speedos, like because you, my man can't be wearing speedos. Cycling, mm, cycling shorts. No, I think you could make the dungarees look cool. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah, I could like a man in. You a like dungaree. a fisherman? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not fisherman. Would it put you off someone if you were dating them? It was going like amazingly. You're such a lovely person. And then you go on their social media and it's just pics of them holding a carp. What's a carp? Like a fish. Oh, God. Do you know what I'm saying? Like those pics where they're like... <laughs> No, that's would not that for me. Would that put you off? That's not, I don't think we'd get as far as like exchanging because I'd no. know that you're not my type. I feel like they'd stink. Yeah, very fishy. It's giving fish. <laughs> it's purely giving fish. I don't want my man to smell like fish. No, I'm, I'm not. To be honest. I'm not into that. Mm -mm. You've been to LA a lot. We've discussed this, mm -hmm. right? You've been going. Do American men have more riz? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Wow. In, in my opinion, yeah. I was chopped liver in LA. What does that mean? No, no <laughs> one fucking wanted a slice. <laughs> no, literally, I pro American men looked at me and thought... Nah, like, they probably looked and thought... She's too good for me. I can't, yeah. I can't chat to her. I need you with me regularly to tell me that. That's <laughs> what I need. You. But I've, yeah, I don't, do you like the American accent though? Uh, do you know what? I love a New York accent. Oh yeah, I yeah. I think it's so sexy. Like rough and ready. Yeah. Mm. New York. What, <laughs> New York. New York. <laughs> what is your dream accent? If you for me, date someone, okay, yeah. New York. Oh, it is I New York. I love New York accent. I is love it? it. Yeah. Yeah, I like like a really like rough, like a black cab driver. Oh, a proper like Courtney. Yeah. You fucky what? Yeah. Like, if I get in an argument with someone, I want them to really be angry with me. Okay. And give it that. I feel like a New Yorker could do that, though. Yeah, they could get... It'd be a different type of aggression. I feel like they'd have a toothpick in their mouth. Oh, not the not the toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I was going for. <laughs> yeah, I was imagining one from, like, 1970. <laughs> You're thinking of, like, like, what do you call it? Like scarf or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking of. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so, what are the plans for the future? What have you got coming up? Tell me. Big plans, babe. Life plans. Yeah, life's real busy. Yeah. Well, I'm getting back into modeling as well. Yes, as you should. Yeah, I feel Love like that. modeling can come into everything, though. It kind of comes mm -hmm. into everything I do anyway. Mm. 
But yeah, lots more TV, lots more stuff like that. Ooh. Yeah, maybe my own podcast. This oh, year. let me on. <laughs> let better me come on. on. You absolutely will. <laughs> What's your dream show to go on? TV show. show. Do you know? I'd love to go on Strictly. Mm. I'd love to do a little bit of salsa Look, or you'd something. Be really good on Strictly. I'm not. A, I'm not a good dancer. Neither am I. But it's fine. <laughs> me. Is if I'm going on. But no, would you go on it? Uh, don't I? Why not? Don't I? Uh, but the thing is, um, I can't dance. Mm. But neither so, can I. No, I think you can. I've got a bit of revenue. I've seen you in the slow mos in the villa. You can. Oh, I love if that was more. me, <laughs> Im imagine them doing the slow mos. It would just me be going. <laughs> Not the two seven, yeah, the like, the two out of time as well to everyone else. There'd be absolutely no way. I, I feel like I could be that. taught. I could be taught. That's why I want to do strictly. If you've got a professional dancer with you. I feel like they can teach anyone. Yeah, just spin me about and like throw me in the air. Like, throw I'd me in it. the fucking air and don't catch me. I'd love it. Let me land on my head. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> no. That'd be a disaster. Too far. I'm really sorry. What yeah, are you getting yeah. carried out? Could you imagine in an ambulance? That would go. <laughs> oh my god, I would I die. You in an extra. I like. would. <laughs> Die me going past like Anton de Beck. Like, sorry, babe, I'd be well. Would you go? I'm a celeb. I would, but mm. I would like I'd be a nightmare in there. Yeah. I've got a phobia of everything. Rats and mice. I'll literally cry when. I, do you know what? That's one thing about London. Really, I've seen rats everywhere. I find like everywhere. rats and mice. I don't mind like they're they, they kind of look like mm, like cute. They're fluffy, oh, cute. but fluffy. <laughs> insects. Oh, it's insects for you. For me. Mm. If you put a spider on me, I promise you mm. the whole of ITV is getting shut down. Oh, oh, yeah. She's not having that. Shut it down. <laughs> I swear to God. What was that accent? That was meant to be yours. That was terrible. Shut it down. That's insulting. Was it? <laughs> that is insulting. Come on. Can you do it? And then wait, let me try and do it. Shut it down. Shut it down. Oh my gosh. Was that, that what I sound like? Like, I did do it with energy. Do you want a bit of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Shut it down. Shut it down. That's Is that not... Rude. Was... Do I? Do you think I sound like that? No, but... Well, yeah, but that's I offensive. feel like I'm doing it well. I do I feel like I'm doing it well. Usually I'm good at this. That was so far off. Do it. my accent. Do my accent. Fuck you about that. Fuck you about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it well. Why do I sound like a black cab driver? <laughs> you kind of you got a bit caught. Where are you from? Cambridge. Oh, it's not, you're not doing Cam like you don't sound no. like Cambridge. No, Cambridge I is quite like a proper accent. Everyone says that, but everyone from Cambridge, we kind of sounds like we're from Essex. So, oh really? Yeah, is it? We just we've got a bit of a we're all a bit bisexual in Cambridge. Oh. We like a bit of Essex, like a bit of Cambridge. Bit, yeah, bit Cockney. Yeah, bit, yeah. Just everything in there. Fingers in all pies. Oh. Standard for you. Thank God bless. You know the vibe. <laughs> Before I end the pod, mm. I like to ask my guests, what is one bit of advice that you would give to save Grace? Oh. Grace being me. What would what would I give to you? Tell me. Hmm. Hmm. I've got to think on this one. I'll take a sip. <laughs> okay. I would give to you. I feel like we touched on it before. Mm. But if they're not moving to you, babe, mm. it's not you, it's them. You're giving off intimidation. So You're true. You're too good. You're I'm too like good. Man, that is not me. Hmm? Sex any girl, that is not me. What, <laughs> what was that? It was that cocktail that. accent. I couldn't understand. Sex any girl, that's not me. Act like a waste man, that is not me. Oh. It's not me, it's them. It's, yeah. It's them. It's, it is you. It's yeah. that you're just too, like, you're too hot for them. I, yeah, do you know what, actually? I think we should go into this summer right delusional yeah i think go in pure delusion i'm hot shit mm -hmm. i am christina aguilera literally that's literally what i was trying to say be delusional love that be delusional <laughs> i am who i am yeah I love you're, a, that. you're a bad bitch i'm a bad bitch <laughs> what now even though I am cuffed up this summer, but I am still a bad but it's bitch. Still, still like baddie hot. Yeah, am I going to see you in Ocean Beach? You might. Are you going to enter this month? No, but I'll see you there. See you there one time. Um, it's been amazing having you on. Uh, it's been so a star. Been sensational. Love you, Nova, wherever you are. Should I get Nova? Yeah, Nova. She needs to be Do your Nova. outro with Nova. Nova. If you've been watching, give it a like and subscribe. If you've been listening, give it a follow and a five star review. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>